Hello, Dawn H. Jones here. I'm Managing Director of Hope Place HR, and our mission is to help you become HR wise. I want to ask you a question this week, but before I do that, would you do me a favour and press the subscribe button to receive quality HR content? And I thank you in advance for doing that for me. Okay, so the question I want to ask you is this. Do you know the value of your employee package, the total value? Now, most of us tend to think about salary, annual leave, fitness entitlements, and perhaps pensions. However, there's generally more to the benefits than the ones I've just mentioned. And in this video, we're going to consider two specific examples to illustrate my point. So the first example, consider someone called Selwyn. Selwyn's paid £45,000 per year. One day, Selwyn receives an email from the pay and benefits team informing him that he can access his employee benefit statement by logging onto the pay system. Selwyn's intrigued and he logs onto the system and he's surprised to find out that his total benefits package, including his pension, is worth £75,000. Who would have thought it? Selwyn notes that his pension also has death in service benefits, which is particularly important to him because he has a young family. And although Selwyn is um, planning to live a long life, he takes the time to fill out the beneficiary forms for his wife and his children in the event of his death. And he also makes a note to himself to speak to his financial advisor and his solicitor to update his will. So Selwyn keeps on reading and then he finds out that he's entitled to an additional four days of annual leave when he reaches his 10th year of service later this month. And that's going to come in handy during the school holidays. Selwyn sits back in his chair. He's pleased that he took the time to download his employee benefit statement. Very pleased indeed. Now the second example relates to someone called Cora. Over the weekend, Cora and her husband received news that their daughter has been diagnosed with a critical illness, immediately requiring hospital treatment. Cora's head spinning as she grapples with the news about her daughter's condition and the sudden changes that it will bring to their lives and potentially their finances due to having extended time off to spend with their daughter. Now, Cora uh, calls her manager and leaves a message informing her that her daughter's unwell and she needs to take annual leave. Cora's manager, Clarice, returns her, her call on Monday and Cora's tearfully explaining the seriousness of her daughter's condition. Clarice is really sorry to hear about Cora's daughter and the challenges facing Cora and her husband. Clarice advises her that she is willing to grant her the maximum entitlement of seven days special leave. In addition to this, Cora has three weeks of accrued annual leave. And beyond this, Clara, Clara, sorry, Clarice, Cora's manager, confirms that she's willing to consider a flexible working application for, from Cora. Now, Cora's really surprised and relieved at the range of options available to her. Cora agrees with Clarice that she'll take the seven-day special leave and then check in with Clara on the sixth day. In the meantime, Cora's husband, Brent, asks his manager if he's also entitled to special leave. Brent's manager confirms that he's entitled to 10 days special leave, given the circumstances. Cora and Brett agree to spend the next five days focusing on their daughter, and then they'll consider further leave requirements and flexible working options. But the fact that they've got this special leave gives them breathing space to think about what they're going to do next. Now, both of these scenarios are reminders that it pays to know your complete employee benefits package. So here are some calls to action for you. I want you to consider downloading your pay and reward statements so you have a full knowledge of what your employee benefits are. And then if you're in a pension scheme, ensure that your beneficiary information is up to date. And last but not least, read your leave policies to ensure that you know the leave available to you in circ certain circumstances. So until next week, remember, be HR wise. Bye bye.